So we're back again. Oh look, the scaffold almost killed me. So we're back again, it's Monday. Um, on this other side of Brickwork now, I'll show you what we did Saturday. Uh, had a bit of a rough weekend though, hanging, hanging out my ass on the Saturday. Uh, as you can see from last video. But yeah, check it out, this is what we're doing. Uh, yeah. So, that's up, that's up right, all the way up to the top, 25 course. Back to the corner back here, and we're just going to do the repeat of that side now. It's an identical box, this, easiest spot, 30, 304, so 307 last video, but even, you know, dead easy. Profiles are set, uh, big corner, tail it out, probably half the gable. Uh, we've just brimmed the tub, I'm not killing my centre today, I've got some shit to sort out when I get home. Uh, so yeah, see you in the next clip. So yeah, it's uh, quarter past two, and uh, yeah, we brimmed the tub, we used it. Uh, didn't get, didn't start laying until 11 o'clock, so three hours, and uh, this is what we got done. Uh, about 500, maybe, maybe 600 bricks here. Uh, that's all up to full height, I had to run out of gobble with that last, last four bricks there, so, but yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, we'll finish this back off. I'll run down this front, so I reckon, you know, about that brickwork and that, a day, front a day, block work, I reckon three days will be done on here. Uh, yeah, so, a new drop Friday, hopefully. All right, see you in the next uh, clip. Right, it's uh, Tuesday now. On this other gable, uh, back to my last complete. Got all windows inset, uh, so I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, that's all set. You can see there's about a 10 or 15 mil gap under that window. My block work are a little bit high, so I've got to cut that, trim that off of my cutter tomorrow, and uh, and then because I'll leave this now, I'll not build any more on the back, even though it's only six or seven course, and I normally rack it a couple of course from top, just to uh, you know, just because I find it a bit difficult reaching. And it's uh, you know you don't want your reveals leaning and stuff so so uh, run this in round all the way to the front now and uh, yeah right see you next clip hey right, Dean sorry about that right. just fucking about with me fucking uh, my camera <laughs> how you fit how you finding all right wow what's up with it I'll trust you <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, mate. I, I trust it's right, bro. Trust it's right. I'm sure it'll be right. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to fit it down, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, now.
Ready for a sauna, mate, are you? Yeah, not far, not far. I know we had one, I know we had... In the morning, didn't we? Yeah, I feel, I feel a bit better, mate, do you? Yeah. Sometimes you just need it, you know, sometimes if you haven't had like a massive tea, it's like fucking a must. Yeah, yeah. I fucking dog shit yesterday. Like proper dog shit. No, I did. Man, we're just down to pure fucking drinkage, mate. <laughs> drinkage. <sighs> Sound? Right. Yeah, it's sound. Get off at off at line. No, you don't have to. Yeah, it's sound. Don't have to line up with others. Yeah. Sound yeah, rough. Right. Yeah. I've altered it. That's why I altered this one. We're a bit smaller. Yeah. Back, yeah, that's it, bro. We do a bit of a fucking voice test with this. See if see if they can hear my audio, like. How's the audio sound, everyone? Can you hear me alright? If you see here, I'm using the Fitz brick. These aren't the new ones, I've got the new ones in my bag, but move it up like that. So it's basically uh, mimicking the smiley line. It's a bit tight that, so you can move it until it feels tight. You know, that's not coming off, look at that solid. And that's an old Fitz brick, needs oiling, so. Using the tile setter, dropping gobble everywhere. Well, it's good if your gobble is in a little bit on the stiffer side, but if it's a bit wet, just spread one, spread another, and then now every time, if you can fucking pick brick up right way, every time pick a bucket, trail of mortar, put it in. It's a bit wet that is, so you've got it one spread going off a little bit for a moment while well, you have to put another one down. When it gets to a tube, double spread. We get him around that tube, back to one brick at a time. You're gonna drop some with this trowel, it's inevitable. It's fucking diddly. Well, let's try it. your best not to. Oh. Oh. Fucking ass, I must have stacked these backwards or something. Double spread. Sorry, I was just talking to my camera. I've propped up my my case off it, you know, so you, you can hear me. They can hear me a bit better.
Can be a can be a fucking. Are going up. Yeah, it can be a brick size. Your bricks could be a little. You could drop on some big bricks. It's always this and now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, just if you think if you think there's too big, if you think it's too small, then just fat, get your fattens and just tighten them up a bit. You know what I mean? Just even them out. Seem into these days and the bricks with the holes in all the connies scraping them up into that hole and then giving them a little scrape off just just stops that little bit less gobbo going down the cavity a little scrape off Too mo extra motion but keeps that cavity a bit cleaner you'll never find me brushing my cavity fuck that Andy from Bricklane Worldwide don't even like to point inside of his blocks. I didn't really, but mine gets pointed with a glove if you, as you can see. There's a few little gaps, but 90% full. Little trial's perfect for hip height. Hip height all the way up to the top. This, this, this is a perfect go off we can hit that stuff. Can spread it nicely. Just wish this but wish this blade were like an inch bigger. Eight inch is probably ideal. An inch bigger and fucking half the weight. So it'd be even easier. up and up here. You block. Fucking me fucking joints up I bet. Fucking 
can have it all. Only a bit of spec mix clip brick action. A bit of clip brick. Yeah. Fuck it. the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right yeah i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right yeah i can only say that it feels right Never had a doubt 
out, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now We know I ain't ballin' yet, hoes wanna holler Oh no, I don't call them back, girl, let me see you Hold it down, we gon' have a blast Cause I just wanna know what you gonna do with all of that I Ain't gotta say a word, I know what's up You can have it all, watch me rip it all I'll admit it, you got me feeling hella love Even when it's going down, know that we gon' live it up Young shot caller, always been a baller Know that you the one, I can feel it in my heart Yeah, I won't stop charging, we going come harder I can see you and I, way beyond the stars, girl I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right it feels right, it feels right, it feels Hey guys, Harry here, back with another Brit Lane vlog. Uh, thanks a lot for sticking around, it's the voiceover part of the video now. Um, so yeah, here's some uh, pick and dip that you're watching. Some proper pick and dip with the uh, 7 inch towel setter trowel uh, by Marshalltown. You know, really good trowel, I use it pretty much most days now. Um, especially if I just don't feel like lifting up a small blade. Uh, if I'm doing uh, connies or pick and dip and uh, you know I'm just feeling the small blade I'll be using this uh, really good trowel it does take you know some getting used to um, but once you get used to using it get used to the feel of it um, obviously it being a Philadelphia pattern it's really nice to use you know and get a lot of bricks down with it uh, I got over 900 bricks uh, on this day down with the help of Dean uh, I think it was 9.25 we got down, uh, something like that was a little, just just a quick count up I tried, I did on on the day, so, um, but yeah, getting pretty close to his, my personal best, which was 9.50 I did, uh, on a boundary wall, but, um, you know, you can, you can still see that you can, uh, you can hit, uh, you know, some big numbers, and lay you know ju just as many if not more bricks with a seven inch trowel than you can with an 11 or a 12 or you know obviously i use a 10 most of the time or a nine but the seven as you can see is superior so and that's even if the mortar isn't perfect as well you can see some of the mortar is a little bit wetter so i'm sp spreading it out a couple of bricks uh you know picking dipping and then um you know, sometimes we're doing it every other break, every uh, every two, etc, etc. Uh, you get a lot of comments about, you know, the joints not being full, etc. And uh, let's put it, and, you know, I'm just, you know, be honest, you know, the joint in takes no longer than it does traditional or however other way I lay the brick, you know. Joint in isn't an issue. It mainly comes from a place of people being jealous they can't do it, because... Uh, pick and dips like relearning to lay bricks again, you know, if you've only learned how to lay a brick traditional and you've never done pick and dip, it's like perping the brick away you've never perped it before, it's, it takes some practice to get used to, you know, uh, it takes some practice getting the spread right, being able to utilise the 7 inch trowel, a lot of people just can't do it, you know, you see people pick a 7 inch trowel up and they, you know, they, they'll, you know, they look, you know, special with it in their hand, but, you know, it, it takes some getting used to, you know, so... Um, there's only probably, I don't know, I don't really see anyone else, or the, uh, anyone use it other than Charlie Collison really. And, um, you know, not a lot of guys are uh, advocates of the little baby trowels and, 
I know and Andy uh, will wa Andy at Brick Lane Worldwide uses it with a bucket. You know, it's good using uh, using the this sort of trowel out of a tub. Uh, the Swan Neck trowels by Jung that you know the the European guys use. Um, their handles are designed. The angle of their uh, of the uh, handle on the handle arm on the trowel is designed to be, you know, um, you know, scooped out of a bucket uh, or a tub because they uh, they roll their mortar into a you know a sausage or a pasty shape in the bucket and not actually on a board like we do. But this is an ad an adaption, pick and dip of an adaption for working on boards. Because everyone, you know, every bit in the UK uses spot boards. Every, obviously, there's these plastic ones out now that I've not, you know, um, I'm probably I'm not really willing to pay the money for them. But you know, they'd be even better. You know, your motor would last even longer. And um, probably one of the main upsides um, of having plastic boards is you can get your motor to the consistency you want and not worry about it going off on the boards as quick. Um, but obviously there's extra maintenance with them boards etc but I'm not willing to pay it just yet I'll probably find a, a cheap alternative and put it out here on YouTube at some point I've got a few ideas up my sleeve that um, uh, for spot boards and uh, a few things that um, you know maybe other people haven't thought of obviously I'm using bins it's a thing that a spot board stands at the moment it's uh, Something that's been around years, but it's a cheap 12, 13 quid alternative on eBay um, to, a, to a 50, 50, 60 quid, you know, motorboard stand. It's, you know, it's a 13 quid alternative, you know, it's a, a quarter of the price and, um, you know, you're getting the same stability as a, uh, you know, 40 quid, 50 quid, 60 quid uh, spotboard stand, but you know um just at a cheaper price you know more affordable you know i i ain't got any i ain't got anything wrong with spending spending you know 40 quid on 40 odd quid on four bins um and that's you know all my spot boards set you know i very rarely use more than six mortar boards and uh you know four bins and whichever you know sometimes as well if there's an abundance of bins on site, they'll let you use them as long as you once you leave the site, you put them back. You know, there's there's that and with that and a combination of manhole rings that you can find laying about. You know, you can get all your spot board stands for for next to nothing compared to some of the expensive stuff that you don't always want to leave laying about on a job, especially if it's a bit exposed or there's a few dodgy lads there who you don't trust. You don't want to be leaving your kit about. So, but yeah. That's the pick and dip with the seven inch trowel. Uh, really fast and effective for running on in uh, long stretches or you know any type of brickwork. But it's um, it's definitely beneficial to sort of learn the technique, perfect it, and it's not going to look like how I'm doing it the first time you try it. That you know I've been doing it now for uh, a year and a half. Pick and dip now. I've been laying bricks this way pretty much exclusively with a bit of alternation between you know putting a perp on with with a semi-traditional style but i've been perfecting this for a year and a half and you know i suppose in another year and a half i'll be it'll look even more fluid so um yeah so anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video today there's some more footage coming up i've got some more footage for you guys um showing you how you'd use the seven inch trial if you got if your mortar's a bit wet the mortar was pretty much perfect consistency in this bit of clips but i'll show you in the next clip uh, how i lay uh with the with the seven inch trial when the motor's a bit wetter and i, I do a little bit of tra traditional perp in the brick along with some pick and dip and you know the joints get, the joints are full there's sometimes a little bit extra you need to add onto the face of the joint but 90 percent of the time it's completely full and uh, these comments are just left by people who are you know upset they can't do it the sense so yeah anyway guys thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoy the videos uh, I'm going to do a review on the new Fitz brick very soon. I've just been very busy in my personal life there over this last week, so I've just not had the time to dedicate to doing some videos on a night on it. So uh, uh, appreciate uh, you know your patience with that one, and I know Charlie's made a video on it. So uh, if you go check that one out, until I uh, manage to give my opinion, which you know it, you know. It differs somewhat from some people's, but you know, I have my own unique spin on stuff. So, anyway, guys, thanks a lot. I uh, appreciate 
um, your support on the videos if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe if you aren't already and hit the notification bell to get notified when I bring out a new video uh, and uh, I'll see you in a few days with another one thanks a lot so we're up here uh, we've got another 13 course left on this that's the window set there and then I've got the lid the correct link on now for that a little bit of uh, block work slash brick work over the front uh, but we're going to run this in for today I've got another full tub as you can see it's pretty much the top um, give rain though so we'll see how far we get we used the last tub in an hour and an hour and a half and that we're including stopping for pointing so if we can get an hour and a half in and get this up got all the bricks stacked I leave my stone a little bit more room because I'm about 18 and a half stone so but I'd have had them, them closer should we start on that board Dean? this front board now mate Sorry mate, but I need that sweet muck. Your you? need your sweet muck, Dean. <laughs> oh, the fucking the back. Oh. Right, it's in a bit. So uh, under under the uh, scaffold, could have laid a thousand bricks today, but well, I still could if it stops raining. But you can see rain stops all. Check it. Fucking wet, Dean. Mm. Fucking wet. Yeah. Rain stops you at all costs.
Hello? Perfecto, isn't it? It's perfecto. Chipped brick. Are you getting that one, bro? Yeah. Nope. Um, if it fits, hold on. Yeah, you get it in that, bro. Youths, we're all fired out. Coming up, coming up, coming up.
Yeah, just have to put a little bit more bed on it. You know, it's like fucking very easy to press down. Yeah. That's all I were doing, mate. Just fucking spreading the cunt out with my little beast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're fucking filming that you didn't buy one, aren't you? You're like, I'm fucking my paper still off I'm on it. You're filming, you're like, fucking how he's making that look like he's lifting up an egg and spoon. <laughs> Egg yeah, them little ones from fucking Cadbury's that are like that big. <laughs> Abby, Abby's using one of them egg and spoon little spoons. <laughs> Should've got one. You're like, Abby, surely you can't like fuck all with me. My dad said that to me when I bought one. When I bought this, she was like, what the fuck are you gonna do with that? And I said, mate, lay a thousand brick with it. Lay thousands of brick in an hour. When he use a tub every hour on the hour. Jump in the whip, spin it. We on the M way, be whipping. She can't cruise in the kid for me, sure love, impossible mission. She wanna fuck with the squad, I'm hitting her belly, the man go missing. I'm only one in the head, you of course on the one, the kid it different. Jump in the whip, spin it. We on the M way, be whipping. She can't cruise in the kid for me, sure love, impossible mission. She wanna fuck with the squad, I'm hitting her belly, the man go missing. I'm only one in the head, you of course on the one, the kid it different. Met her on Thursday, throwing it back. Round of applause, she makes it clap. Man on the map like that, so hate and say, but I know it's facts. Both think of the two on two, he's feeling big shack, he knows good math. They say they better than me, I'm baffed, they must be talking wass. Jump on the track, know what to do. Spin the ting like I spins this coop. The ass back on fat like my gin, I might have to make my boo. Out of the balls, we marching true. Demand and step, we can't move flu. So I'm red fired in a booth, I'm seeing the checks, they loving the you. They love and they look like Potter. I'll still be up in my paper. My ball be time to shot. And no black, he looking like Vader. He do to the dark and light. Fuck with the guy, he bring the light saber. Man run out to the beef, got me lean on. Coming like Major Laser. Jump in the whip, spin it. We on the M way, be whipping. She can't cruise in the kid for me, show sure love, impossible mission. She wanna fuck with the squad, I'm hitting her belly, the man go missing. I'm only one in the head, you of course on the one, the kid it different. Jump in the whip, spin it. We on the M way, be whipping. She can't cruise in the kid for me, show sure love, impossible mission. She wanna fuck with the squad, I'm hitting her belly, the man go missing. I'm only one in the head, you of course on the one, the kid it different. Pretty one with a pretty face on the Jeep, but the back I'm dead like Sean. Do some squats, see your back respawn. Brown skin Jordan and love my brawn. Grinding until dawn, no sleep, no feed, it gets horrible. You don't want this, you should've withdrawn on that's been real since I was born. Willie, I'm fucking the car, go crazy, can't be lazy, putting in work. I'm in a beef, quick killing the verse, killing the beat, put a beat on the shirt. Me and bro be tearing up tracks, we jit, do hard like baby and dirt. Gunner, our bro be letting it burst. Chat on the team, you're making it worse. Step in the beef, like yo, what's good? I'm killing rappers on beats, man put smoke in the beef like Butch These guys all say they savage, got no heart, can't test no hood I still got 21 holes on me, they all wanna taste no wood These holes ain't moving good Jump in the whip, spin it, we on the M way, be whipping She can't cruise in the kid for me, sure love, impossible mission She wanna fuck with the squad, I'm hitting her belly, the man go missing I'm only one in the head, you of course on the one, the kid it different Jump in the whip, spin it we on the M way, be whipping. She can't cruise in the kid for me, show love, impossible mission. She wanna fuck with the squad, I'm hitting her belly, the man go missing. I'm only one in the head, you of course on the one, the kid it different. You'll push find fucking other time what you what you find easiest, you know what I mean? And that. Yeah. You'll learn to do this pick and dip at some point when you get used to it. That's even quicker, but it's a bit fucking fiddly to get hang of. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, what it, the hardest bit is, is spreading it right first time like this. You know, like, my, my, 
been able to just fucking get that right the, like that every yeah, time yeah, without yeah. it going. Yeah, I've noticed sometimes you think oh it's a bit thin there. So yeah. Putting a little fucking bit on. A little bit more. Yeah. Get a bit thin, that. That's what gets me. Fucking people call fucking me lazy for getting there at like what time we do, but I'm one always working. Yeah, we're, we're, we're always working, aren't we? Yeah, this is what gets me. It's not what time you get there, it's fucking what you do while you're there. That's what gets me. That's why I love this. Fuck me. If I had to go to a job where they were complaining at me because I got there fucking five minutes late, I'd think, fuck you. You know what I mean? Does me fucking head in. People take that employed job mentality into self-employed and it's like ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Why the fuck would you treat it? Why would you fucking treat it like you're fucking working for some working at a fucking oh, firm? It's mad. <laughs> yeah, fucking gobbo, yeah? I'll fucking start pointing. <laughs> it's fast, isn't it? It's fast when we get when you get in a room like this with shit tons of bricks on. Right, it's four o'clock and uh, we're pretty much done. We've just got about another 10 15 minutes tidying up. Um, yeah, this is what we got done today. There we go uh, 25 cores, 925 brick with a 7 inch trowel. Uh, we started at 10 o'clock and it's now four. We're now we're snapping that, so that's uh, five hour. So not too bad. Uh, I'm going to now test this lintel, see if this lintel fits on the front. And uh, yeah, uh, I've got about 10 cores to do on that back, that back pillar. And I've got this little bit that's actually to run in tomorrow. It's uh, got to bring me cutter tomorrow and chop the mouths out uh, all the way down to the deck because that, where actually, no, sorry, chop these halves out because it is a cut up this. Uh, it cuts it down so for a porch, but got this little front to do uh, tomorrow, one with the back, uh, yeah, I should be, if I get a front and back up tomorrow, um, I'll be happy with that, definitely, and then just a day, half a day finishing block work and then that'll be Thursday then, it'll be Thursday afternoon after loading something else up, uh, still waiting for a scaffold, so maybe down there, hopefully, or somewhere, anyway. See you in the next video.